Náš komorka, náš kontinuál, krátký jel, kytej jel, vyskoj jel, nápej jel, vyskoj jel. A noc a noc dále na cmentu, kde náš kontin, krátký jel, šumovak, šumovak, kde náš kontinuál. My friends, my relatives, very happy to be here. Acknowledge the elders, I said thank you to them, to the men, the women, the youth that are here. And I give thanks to our Creator for a very beautiful day. And acknowledge all the grandmothers and grandfathers that this is good work. To, to all the organizing committees that have done this very powerful walk, it was a big honor for me to listen this morning to the women and the families that shared their stories. Very powerful stories. Very powerful teachings. And just to be part of this walk here, 25 years of doing this to the organizing committee, thank you so much. Thank you so much for what you've done. You've shown that you brought together all of our families and all of our relatives to do something very special, to never forget our loved ones, to never forget our nieces, our sisters, our aunties, our brokums, our grandmothers. And listening and watching and observing today on the walk, at every spot where there was hardship, where there was a spirit taken, there was ceremony and prayer. There was ceremony and prayer right through. And that was so touching and inspiring to see that and to listen to the drums and the songs that spirit of that drum, and acknowledge the drummers and the singers here, that spirit was there. And then when everybody would look up to the sky, and you'd see our, grand, our grandfathers with us, the eagles were with us. They were listening to the prayers, and in our teachings and our way, the eagle is the one that flies high, the highest one. And he's our grandfather, and he takes the prayers of the people to the Creator. And that was such a powerful sign just to see that. And everybody would look up and cheer and prayer. That was so powerful to see. That's a sign that we're all on a good road. A very spiritual road, a very special road. And what we're doing together now, and this stick that I carry, was done through ceremony from this territory here. Now I acknowledge the Coast Salish nations as well, but the carver that did this one, he, I met him in the park. Johnny Sam. Johnny Tushu, they call him. Johnny. This was presented to me from Chief Shane Godfordson from Kamloops and Grand Chief Doug Kelly. And they were given to it in ceremony in the downtown east side, formed here to them. And in December, they presented it to the elder, Elmer Pershain. And then after December 10th, when I was chosen to lead our AFN in unity and strength, they presented it to me to carry across Canada, to witness, to listen, to hear the stories of our, our people as it relates to missing indigenous women and girls. So I've had this with me for the last two months. And it's traveled to Thunder Bay last week to listen to the 13, 14 families share their stories about how their loved ones are missing. So this issue we're trying to deal with is not only in BC. It's not only in Alberta or Saskatchewan, it's right across Canada. And that's the sad part. And we say it's not just a First Nations issue. It's not just a woman's issue. It's all of Canada's issue. It's the whole world issue to deal with missing and murdered indigenous women and girls. I was to present this back to the people here today. But I was told because we have a round table coming up on February 26 and 27. February 26 is for the families to come share, 
to come lead, to come guide on that Thursday. And then on the 27th is the round table with the premiers, with the different national Aboriginal leaders, and with the two reps, the two ministers from the federal crown. So I was told to take this back. Take this with me. Take this stick with me. This ceremonial stick with me to Ottawa again when we have that big meeting to deal with this issue. So I'm going to keep it with me. So it'll travel in a very special way, sacred way back with me to Ottawa for those round tables coming up. And we say that round table is just a step. It's not the end of our call for a federal inquiry into missing, murdered, indigenous women and girls. It's the first step. It's an action step. And we want to have a coordinated action plan, a coordinated strategy to deal with this issue. And we're going to continue to call on the governments of the day to work with us, to listen to us, so that one day we will see, one day we will all stand up in victory to see that inquiry happen. And that's what we need to keep pushing for. Keep praying for that. Because the lives of our relatives matter. Those women and kids and girls, their lives are important and they're of value. No more will we have to put aside and live in shame or guilt for whatever you feel. I've said this before, the Creator does not make junk. Every one of us in this room is special. The Creator does not make junk. And we're all special as people. So my friends and relatives, we're going to keep working together. I didn't want to say too much, but just to, you honored me by being a witness to your power, your energy, and your spirit. You, I'm very humbled and honored to share this special day with all of you. And we're going to keep working to what we need to have in place. We need more homes for our people. We need more safe shelters. We need more daycares. We need more, the justice system has to be overhauled because there's no accountability for our people. There is no justice for our people. And we want to get the answer as to why. Why is that? And so by putting our minds and hearts together, we can make it happen. So with that, my friends and relatives, we're going to keep our circle strong in a good way. We always say we're going to heal ourselves when we come back to our languages and our ceremonies and who we are as Indigenous peoples. Because it's, we're freedom from alcohol and drugs through our ceremonies. And that's how we're going to rebuild ourselves. I was so proud and honored to listen to all the women that shared the stories. We've been clean for a year. We've been clean for two years. We've been clean for ten years. And that's how we're going to rebuild our people, getting that pride back in who you are. So again, thank you so much for listening, for the honor, by witnessing today. I am, I'm empowered by that. I'm empowered by it so much. We're going to keep our struggle and fight together. Hi, hi. Thank you.